So your mom abandoned you. Maybe. That's what comes to mind. And and you got raised by someone else and was angry about it? No, I don't think I got raised by anybody else. Well, how did you get raised then? I think I... Well, I just broke a piece of this off. Anyway, I think I kind of raised myself. Uh Uh-huh, you were like a wild child. Yeah. And did you um, get shunned by the other humans? Did you have playmates and friends or... Were you... Maybe one or two. Uh Uh-huh. And how did the rest treat you? Thought you were weirdos, probably. So, um, you have this hatred towards women from your mom abandoning you? Do you feel it? I don't know, I guess... I guess that was the first thing that came to mind. Mm Mm-hmm. So when you look at women, do you just kind of feel angry? No, not all the time. Oh. Not 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 in this life so much. The ones closest to me, yeah. Well, it's not all the time, but sometimes. But I think that's that's because of it. it's the whole mom thing. Maybe I'm carrying it with me from some past life. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm getting. But why does it do... Why? It's got to be what... It's got to be this anxiety. There's got to be something attached to... To all of it. I, I, I don't know what it is. It feels too complex for my mind to even grasp. And it probably really isn't. It's probably really simple. And my mind's too complex to grasp something simple. Does that make any sense? Yeah, well, the, when the mind gets afraid, then it makes things more complex. Yeah. It shakes and scatters everything. It thinks, I mean, it thinks twice and misthinks things. It's hard for me to think about other wives, too. Because I'm so, like, come constantly, like, with the, with this incarnation that I'm in now, you know what I mean, it's constant, it's just constant, like mind battle, it's leading nowhere. You know what I mean? That's why Satanama saved me. What's that? Satanama saved me from that. Yeah. The mind I'm gonna battle. I'm gonna try that, but um. I did it for a whole couple of days in a row, and it was amazing. I'm sure. Yeah. We don't have much to do right now, so we, other than figure out a plan to get to where we're going, so we're trying to be peaceful, and because we're going to go to a peaceful place, so. Um, well, the first place you have to start with peace is in your own self. Yeah. So that's where the meditation. Yeah. It's like um. I've been avoiding that for a long, long, long time. Yeah, most of us have. It's it's some kind of um torture thing or something. Yeah, we're very sadistic towards ourselves. Like it's, it's masochistic. Yeah. Both. Both. Right. <laughs> if you're not feeling good, you're not going to give anybody anything yeah. good. Yeah. It doesn't make sense. Well, it does. If I, I think it goes back to like a primal um. Thing, some kind of primal imprint that uh, people are shunning. They're afraid of intimacy. Yes. E- even the word int- intimate date and intimacy, intimidated by intimacy. Yes. You know, yeah. people, and, and, but it's even be intimate with yourself. Like, uh, it's right. Intimacy with another, intimate with yourself, intimate with. True. That's a good point. It's Absolutely. That whole fear of being alone, but be creating being alone. I don't know. It's I mean, weird. You can't it's like, ever be totally alone. Uh, yeah, she can. All, I mean, we're all we're all one, so you know. Oh, so if we're all but, one and you get to that center point, wouldn't you go be at the point of being alone? 
What do you mean? <laughs> I know what if, she means. If, 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 you get, if you're focused and you're centered and you get yourself to the point of bliss, for lack of a better word, and then everything would be one, so wouldn't that be being alone? It'd be being alone and being with everyone and everything all at the same time. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that being at peace wherever you are with however many people is the ideal, right? Right, whether you're by yourself or in, your, in a... In any size group, area. right. Yeah. yeah. It's about being okay with yourself to sit there. Right. And, and um, feel that you have some meaning. People need meaning. Right, absolutely. I feel a lack of that a lot. A lack of just meaning in my life. Well, that's... Like, it's from years and years of drug abuse. I know that's, that's just not... That's just simple, easy to figure out. It's like I, I, I've suppressed every single kind of any kind of emotion good or bad with some substance here or there and like now I'm, I'm at this point where I have to cleanse myself of all of them and I think that's this oh, well I mean cannabis is a different story <laughs> but but you know what I mean um, cannabis doesn't care. <laughs> but like you know what I mean? Like, I feel like uh, my body's going to start to pay for the damage I've done. The IV drug use, all that stuff, you know? And, um, the cigarettes, which I'd love to quit, but I've been chain smoking or somebody in there. You know what I mean? I, I'm, I'm nervous and anxious a lot. I don't like it. Well, I'm depressed meditation is better than medication. Mm. And praying for peace. Imagine there's a God. Even if you don't believe in God. Oh, I believe in God. Well, if you do believe in God, then pray to God to just grant you peace of mind. And then take deep breaths. I did that the other day. It's actually to the moon. And did it work? At the moment, yeah. It was the middle of the night. It was just me standing outside listening to the... Smoking a cigarette and listening to the... Bullfrogs and weird shit, crickets and stuff that's outside. <laughs> you know. But, um. <coughs> so, what'd you think overall uh, of the whole past life thing? I think it was awesome. You do? Yeah. Actually, I got, I think, more insight into it than he She probably thinks that it was her. No. You don't think I don't. it was her that. You don't think it was you that I killed? No. I really don't. Uh -huh. But you felt like you gained something from it. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I think I know why a lot of his reactions are the way they are. Right? So maybe. maybe yeah, help you, like help if you. he has this deep-seated resentment towards himself almost for something he did to his family, and of course, subconsciously, he would continuously try to deter himself from being able to be a part of his family. Right, and punish himself. Yeah, for something that's not even happening right well, now. Well then, that, that's the final thing. You have to say, I forgive myself. I forgive myself. And you have to tap some acupuncture points, like tap between your, your third eye, and say, I, I forgive myself. I forgive myself. And then tap under your eye, like this, and say, even though I feel like I've done terrible things, I'm okay in the moment, and I forgive myself. Wait, well, was I, even though I think I've done terrible things, I'm okay in the moment, I forgive myself. Yeah, one more time on the other side. Say it again? Even though... Even I, though I've done, may have, probably did, and I probably really did some terrible things, I'm okay in the moment, and I forgive myself. Awesome. And, and right on the uh, center of your chest up here, say the same thing or say something close to it or... Forgive myself. And I love myself. And I love myself. And you know what? I actually have a broken bone. Like, I snap my collarbone in this lifetime. And that I think that's what freaks me out about it, too. That was a whole other experience. I don't know again. <laughs> Did you feel anything from the tapping? Did you feel a little bit relaxed from that? And yeah, actually, I, I, I mean, I, I, feel, I feel more relaxed. I saw this posture change. I feel more yeah. relaxed than I have I've I've been in a, in a while. 
Like, you know, I'm afraid, I, like, I'd, ra I'd rather stay peaceful, but it's very, very hard for me to control my mind, especially living in the environment that we're, we're in right now. Sorry. I'd hope, I'm 